This video is sponsored by PellucidFX.com. Hi, this is Saev Moten with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the ForexPisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit ForexPisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Well guys, let's discuss again the situation on the gold market. Well, um, in general, to better understand what is happening now, what is going on now on the gold market, it's better to uh, take a look at the old time frames because the problem, the real uh, question now, stands on the monthly time frame. But the situation on the daily time frame and on the weekly time frame could become the key for the resolving the situation. Well, I just will say the couple of words about the problem in general but if you would like to get some details please uh, welcome visit our forum and read the weekly research uh, where I mm, have written the situation that the details is on the monthly time frame is the weekly and so on so the major problem on the weekly and the monthly time frame is that the question with this action to the downside and the question is uh, whether this action will become the downward continuation. The market will take out of these lows and so on and could even reach some lower level. Or we will get the compounding ABCD pattern to the upside that potentially could reach the 1550 area, as we have discussed previously. Well, uh, that's the major question because market has the chances the chances to show as the move to the upside because uh, market previously with this action in this low stands at the deep oversold on the monthly time frame and if you will take a look at the uh, monthly chart of the gold market you will see that every time when the price has hit the oversold condition it shows the solid retracement to the upside this move up is at minimum two times smaller than the any previous retracements out from the other zone. So since we have here the volatility breakout to the downside, we have discussed it million of times already in the previous researches. We first we have counted on some deeper move to the upside, and the chances for that move still exist. Now, if you will drop to the weekly time frame, you'll see that market now stands at the support at the 618 support here is 1276 that is also the monthly pivot support one so in fact it uh, assumes that this is in fact the final edge for the bulls because if price will pass through the monthly pivot support one this will mean something different because we know that the pivot support one should hold any opposite retracement and if market exceeds either to the upside or to the downside the pivot support one it means that it's high probability that previous trend has been broken and market could continue move to the downside this will be the first challenge and uh, for potential move to the downside if market will break through this level but at the same time now we are passing coming to this hourly chart you'll see what is going on here so uh, tactically uh, from the tactic points of point of view on the previous week we have said that market is forming the bearish dynamic pressure right here recall that we have talked about it on Thursday and said as market doesn't support the bull trend because here was the bull trend but price action was to the downside we said that probably this is uh, the bearish dynamic pressure and the minimum target of this pattern is taken out of these lows that's very often happens but this target this destination point has been achieved by the way uh, by now so you can see market has renewed these lows taken out these lows and now uh, stands at some support if you could call this a support and simultaneously market is forming something that looks like the fallen wedge and theoretically the fallen wedge is the reversal pattern is the pa this pattern that indicates the housing of the move to the downside and since if you will combine all the moments that we have just discussed I mean the support in the weekly time frame, the potential stop grabber on the weekly time frame. That's the that's right at the support market is forming the fallen wedge. 
uh, we could see that the chances that market really could turn to the upside are still here and they are not have been vanished yet by the price action but if market will pass through this if market will erase this support area and will break this wedge to the downside in this case we probably could say yes that probably market continue move lower and taking out of these lows that's very high probability well but until market holds there and until market uh, forming here is reversal pattern the turn to the upside is to the upside is possible and that is the perspective that we will monitor on the next week uh, you guys know what could happen on the next week that's why we will not make any uh, forecasts we just will be monitor and watch for the resolving of the situation and great assistance with the resolving of the situation we could get on the 4 hour time frame chart on the 4 hour chart you see that market has hit the 127 extension this previous move up so that's some sort of the support uh, and take a look that is nice thrust to the downside this thrust could be the setup for Giordanopoli directional pressure either brand by the um, sell or that will be the double repo by any pattern could be formed here uh, and that in this pattern in fact could become as the part of the higher time frame setup as could be traded separately so if market will form here the double repo by this could be the first bell the first um, could say the triggering point for possible starting of the upward action because the 50% resistance of that thrust is the mi minimum target for the double repo but very often the double repo pattern uh, could become and has become uh, the starting point for something big for a reversal because market has to start reversal from the, some pattern and one of these patterns is the double repo uh, in our case this double repo by well uh, if even this pattern will not become the part or something bigger then we could just focus on it and trade it as the scalp trade on the intraday charts on the hourly time frame chart and 4 hour time frame chart uh, so if this will be the bread and butter sale then we should keep an eye on this level as 1286 the first resistance that is also the weekly pivot point of the next week 1287.44 approximately and take a look that is the previous swing low and we previously have discussed the habit of the gold market that gold market likes to retest the broken levels so when market is broken through some previous swing low or broke breaks to the upside it very often and likes to re re uh, return right back retest the broken extreme and continue moving in the further direction that's why from for the brand body if it will be formed here we will monitor to this level so if you not, would, not, would like to know some details and some additional info please visit our forum and read the weekly research on the gold market this is very interesting and in general you I think that you will be able to uh, unite the different parts in different time frames in the single picture because this really uh, a very significant moment for the gold market and probably some resolving will happen uh, on the next week because on the next week some uh, significant uh, solutions sh should come from the United States government well uh, so that's been said as the conclusion we might say that first of all we should keep an eye on the how situation will develop around this support so market if market will hold there and turn to the upside that could be really big ABCD pattern okay but uh, from the other point of view we will keep an eye in the shorter term perspective on this thrust down because it could become the setup for Giordanopoli directional and we could trade this uh, uh, this thrust pre uh, first if market will show either brand by the sell or double repo by pattern and later we will see whether it will become the part of the bigger setup or not that's our trading plan for gold market on the coming week